Hey guys, Fox Rob here doing a video on the top three differences between the new season four jungle and the old season three jungle. Now this isn't an extensive list towards all the changes, but it's going to be the things which you are most likely feel, things which will have the biggest impact when you're transitioning from season three into season four. So the first biggest change is the introduction of a new jungle monster. It is the fourth camp and it is the white camp. This new monster is on its own, so there are no mini creeps around it and it is positioned just opposite the blue buff. So aside from being the KKK's favorite camp, what other merits do I think that the white camp has? How do I think it's gonna influence the game? Well, firstly, a lot of people will be saying that, oh, there's now four camps, so the jungler's gonna get more gold because there are now more camps for them to farm. I don't really necessarily think that is true. I think a lot of junglers aren't quick enough to full clear the white camp included. Only people like Shivana, who are extremely and exceptionally fast at clearing, will be able to kill all of the camps. In my opinion, the biggest advantage that this new white camp gives is a positional flexibility for the jungler. In season three, if you wanted to clear three mini camps, then you would have to go walls, wraith, golems, or something along those lines. Now, if you want to clear three camps, you don't have to go all across the map. You can do something like white, wolves, wraiths instead. What this means now is that you don't have to be focused so much around the jungle, which is around your red buff, just to be maximizing your farm in the jungle. So if you're given more options of where to do your jungle route or what to clear, that makes you a lot less predictable to the enemy team. And finally, this will also open up more avenues for counter jungling as the more camps you have to defend then the harder it is to defend them. So by the same coin, the easier it is to take something away. The second biggest change is that doing a double buff clear, i.e. just killing the red buff and the blue buff together, doesn't actually yield you level three on its own anymore. In order to get level three, you now need to kill a mini camp as well. The best clears at the moment are looking to be something like where you go blue buff, mini camp, red buff. You can also do it mirrored red camp, mini camp, blue buff, but that's not as good. And the reason why I say that's not as good is because you are wasting the duration of that first buff because you have to go and kill a mini camp before you can go and gank. After you've taken that second buff, you can go gank or do whatever you want. So you ideally want to be having that red buff second. In my opinion, the fact that you have to kill a mini camp is a good change. It makes junglers a lot less predictable, whereas before you would be expecting a gank at around three minutes because you knew that would be the time when the enemy jungler had taken away both their buffs. It's also very good news for Elena's point of view because it means that you can be more aggressive early and have that have a lasting impact as opposed to before in the season three jungle where you knew at three minute marks that the enemy jungler was coming for you because they would have just finished their double buff clear and they would be looking to gank which really did not give you much window of opportunity to be aggressive successfully unless you were doing something like a level two cheese. And finally the last big change is that Smite now has a lower cooldown but also does lower damage at early ranks. Currently the cooldown is at 40 seconds but that might change before for release. So what that means is that currently it's better for you to use your smite as you're engaging at the beginning of a fight onto a jungle creep so that it means you can spam your smite as you are clearing the jungle. So this actually forces you to make a decision. Do you hold on to your smite and use it to last hit so that you don't risk having things stolen away from you? Or do you use your smite at the beginning of a fight so that it has a lower cooldown and that you have a faster clear? And because of the lower damage of smite, especially early, this means that its damage is much closer to that of other abilities in the game, which means that securing and stealing things like objectives and buffs is actually a lot harder. And that, in my opinion, makes the game more exciting the prospect of things not being so secured with that smite. So in my opinion, those are the three biggest changes from season three to season four as far as the jungle goes. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and also write down in the comments what kind of PvE content you want me to give you. Also, if you are not subscribed to me and you're watching this video, feel free to subscribe because I'm going to be releasing a lot of season four content guiding you through this whole new jungle stage. As always, you can find me on my Facebook and my Twitter and you can follow my stream on Twitch too. But thank you very much for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video.